What's going on, guys? Mike Pagano, Tara Pagano, Pagano BJJ. Hola. All right, so thank you. I'm cutting. I'm cutting it up. Don't, don't judge me. All right, so we're here. All right, so I'm gonna start going over. My partner's gonna start working uh, the guard pass, um, and then I'm gonna start setting up into a Delaheba tripod sweep, um, and then we'll start working another mechanic from there, getting into reverse Delaheba. So basically, my partner starts working on controlling her wrist. She starts breaking that guard and starts standing up. Immediately, once she stands up, I want to anchor my heels down and get big hips. From here, I go after that lead leg, so I'm going to shift my hips out. I'm going to insert my left leg behind, and I'm going to start catching that heel. This leg rides over top of her thigh. My foot is curled over top. Now, I can keep control of the wrist. I mean, realistically, in no gi, I mean, she's gonna be pressing down, trying to pass anyway. I don't, I don't necessarily have to. One thing I do want to make sure of is that I'm hooked behind her hamstring. This foot's curled over top of her quad, and this leg, I like to turn this heel out so it breaks her down. From here, my left foot connects to the hip. I'm hips up. My right foot goes behind, and then I'm just gonna push off. A couple ways you can stand up from here. As soon as I push it off, that leg drops in the middle. I keep control of the heel with my left hand. I plant like I'm going to do a regular stand and base, kick back, and then I can just start handing it off for the pass. The other option is, same thing, I control those wrists, she starts breaking the guard, starts standing up to pass, boom. Immediately I open the guard, I weigh myself down. This time I shift out, I go reverse belly heva, and my hand goes behind this leg. From here, maybe she'll try to pass and come forward. I catch this knee here, okay? I weave myself behind. This shin rides the back of her leg. This one bites down. I mean, sometimes you can take this foot out if you want and insert it here. Realistically, she's here. I can just knock her base off by just pushing her forward and pulling back on the legs, one. Once she breaks down, I create that separation and I start hunting the back. All right, so again, all the way through to the tripod sweep. I control her arms. She starts breaking that guard and standing up. Once she stands up from here, I weigh myself down. All right, my heels are biting down, my hips are up. Weave my hips out, insert the deli heva. This foot goes on top of her thigh, and then I control the back of her heel. If you want to control this wrist or this wrist, it's totally up to you. From here, all I do, all right, this foot goes in the hip, curl my toes, engaging. This foot goes behind the knee. I'm gonna hip up, pull the ankle, pull the arm, pull the knee, and push the hip. One, drop, plant, stand up. We get our standing base and we start leg drag passing. Then that second option, control the wrist, same thing. She starts breaking that guard. I open up as she stands up, I bite down. I shift my hips, I insert the reverse deli heva, and I catch behind. Maybe now, maybe she doesn't step forward. You can use this here as a guide. I can either catch it in the armpit or the knee. So I catch and I turn. Now she steps forward and I insert my leg. This leg hooks, this leg bites. And push, pull, see ya, boom. I start kicking out and working my way back up for that back tape. And there you have it.